Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today I'm going to tell you about a real simple dynamic uh, that could change the world forever if you could just receive it as such. It's so simple. I don't do these things if it's... Uh, I try to make them very digestible because nobody wants to listen to people like ramble for hours, okay? I don't either. I'm going to call this one the trifecta of human misery because this is what it really comes down to. And until we change this, nothing will matter. You're wasting your time. Don't ever talk to me about Donald Trump or any of these people. I don't care. I want to hear Don't even bring it to me. Here's a manifestation of Satan, Cain, and Eve. And this is why it's been miserable for 6,000 years, because this is how it always works. And this is why everything screwed up and always will be until these things are changed. As long as you have money as debt, individualism, which is the only thing that logically works, the only thing that's not criminal, not only does it work, <laughs> but even if collectivism did work, it'd still be criminal, so it's irrelevant. As long as you have money as debt, individualism appears like it won't work because it's like people holding a glass of water with a hole in the water cup. Okay? So they all sell out to take their water in a big boat. But that boat's the Titanic. I wasn't planning on doing this analogy, but perfect. So when the money has debt on it, individualism won't work. So they choose collectivism. Well, by definition, that's criminalism. You're pointing a gun at somebody's head saying, give me something you didn't... You earned because you owe me something. So people are forced or seduced by Satan, this false money. Okay, the, the one with there's a good there's good and bad ISIS. Okay, IS dollar sign IS L fifteen. So it's also Lucifer's phosphorus fifteenth. I give you very special clues here. Fifteenth is phosphorus ignition. Why they call it the matchstick men? They agitate and then shine. Phosphorus. Fifteen. Phosphorus. So, uh, if you can look it up now, Blavatsky used to call Lucifer. They had a name for him. It was either phosphoron or phosphorus or something. Yeah, he's a dud. So, anyways, once we have money as debt, people are seduced into choosing anything other than individualism. So the economy's already screwed up. Now you choose collectivistic politics. You screw up, and then what happens? You're so desperate, you run into the hands of Eve, the scankor of Babylon, religion. Bad money, bloated government, bamboozled by religion. It's always been this way. We've never seen a culture free. Certainly America had more roots, but, you know, it was started by these devil sons of Cain, too. <laughs> and I hope they repent. Because they, they're crafty and they've been around. Uh, this is how it is. Until we get a system where money is... Now, when we have money not as debt, then individualism will work. Because people, when they get their cup of water, let's say, call it whatever you want, kids. You're drinking some juice or whatever. It's like if you've got a hole in the glass of water, people get desperate, and then they all cling together. Then they're all screwed. Okay, you're all... You, it's not good. With sovereign money, people will, ha will choose sovereign politics. And they, the devil has to, because without this, the devil has is a waste of his time. I mean, he's literally... He, it's like he's got non-winning lottery tickets. His souls he's got in hell are not pending the post until everything's individualistic. So wait till you see the devil worshippers realize that. And they're going to have smoke coming out of there. They're going to like, the devil's going to chop them up. Oh, God, it's going to get ugly. But then with sovereign politics, then people will realize we don't need to run in this collective hive mindset to an external religion. We just got to deal with right here. And the whole thing gets unwound. And that's true freedom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life.